Hello everybody, it's Mr. Gamer here and today I'm bringing you another video in Destiny. Today we'll be talking about the supposed leak for Destiny 2. Basically a new story came out a couple of days ago from a unknown source that reported on Reddit saying that one of his friends is very close to someone who works on Destiny and he got a load of information about what's coming up. Now whether or not this is true we don't know, it's all like up to our believes if we believe it's true or if it's not but for the moment it's all we've got and we might as well sort of speculate around it for now so basically what he wrote in it is a load of stuff about what's coming in the Taken King and what's coming in Destiny 2.0 I'm focusing mostly on the Destiny 2.0 in this but I'll put a link in the description so you could read through the whole thing if you're interested in all of that so moving straight on to what it is he says now for Destiny 2.0 this will be a completely new game it is titled currently as Destiny 2 The Shattered Suns and is planned for a release on September of 2016. You will still be using your current characters, it will focus heavily on Osiris and his endeavours as he is the main quest giver in the game. A new form of enemy is said to be in development, possibly Ahabankara, couldn't get a straight answer from anyone on that. Mercury is also supposed to be a big player in Destiny 2 The Shattered Suns, the main area in which the Guardian will explore. Bungie also has hired a Hollywood writer for the story of the game as well. A new voice a new voice actor for the ghost is also being implemented. Bungie apparently stated that they are not going to continue with DLCs, but instead release free raids, planets, etc. throughout time. They will only be continuing with the main games after TTK and its successor DLCs. Now, if this is true, it sounds sort of awesome. So basically the way they're going to be doing this is I'm assuming every other year will be a new installment of Destiny so uh, 2017 would be the DLCs for Destiny 2 as it were, 2018 will be Destiny 3 that's the sort of uh, hint I'm getting from this if that's the way they're going to carry on and think of it as more like chapters so they said, I believe they said when Destiny first came out that it's going to be almost like a 10 year platform so it's going to stay as one big 10 year thing before it has a major change I guess so what we could be seeing is every other year we get a new chapter in the Destiny franchise, I guess you could call it. It's quite cool because if this is true, it's basically saying that Destiny 2 is just going to be focusing on one part of it. Obviously the Destiny that we've got at the moment has been quite hive orientated. So we've got the Dark Below, which was all about Crota. Uh, we had House of Wolves, which was more to do with the Fallen. But then we're getting uh, the Taken King, which is again like Hive and the Taken. So that's quite cool. The, and then Destiny 2, which would be the second chapter, is focusing more on Osiris. And we sort of know some stuff about him. Uh, you can read the grimoire cards about it. And if you've gone flawless, you can go to Mercury at the moment and like see the sort of area where uh, he's been or he might even be. Because there was a few theories going around that on Mercury there's this huge sort of... Uh, area that's been blocked off and you can see like stairs going down and people have been speculating that Osiris might actually be down there so it'd be quite cool if Destiny 2 does focus on that sort of area and the whole story around him because uh, I'd be pretty excited for that because that's awesome. Uh, he also says uh, that instead of releasing DLCs they're going to release free raids planets and other stuff throughout time. That to me sounds much better like a much better uh, strategy than it would be to bring out smaller DLCs like because we got the Dark Below and then House of Wolves it would be better if they every other month or so they like threw in a few more strikes or every three or four months you get a free raid that would be good however the only problem with that is it would mean that they would have to get money from another source so they could go into making it pay to play so it would be like a monthly subscription I don't know if that would work on consoles that well, so that's the only thing I was a bit sceptical when I read this, because as awesome as it would be, at the end of the day, Bungie and Activision, they need to make money from it, so they don't want to be putting loads of manpower into something they're just going to be giving away for free. Obviously they would love to, but they do need to pay their, their like creators and everyone, so they'll need to get money unless they make microtransactions in the game for cosmetic items or even for other items which would completely ruin it in my opinion. Uh, cosmetic items is fine if you're going to do microtransactions but anything that actually changes the game completely ruins it if you have to pay for it because there will be people that pay ridiculous amounts of money to get all the stuff that could potentially be overpowered and 
they'll be better off than the people that might just join the game and they don't have enough money to pay for all the other stuff but anyway that's sort of going down a different route so getting back onto the uh, main subject the free raids and stuff sounds cool but it sounds very unlikely I doubt they're gonna do that but you never know maybe maybe they'll surprise us and we might get a few free stuff in the future but yeah that's basically the article as, as I said before the link is in the description you can read through the whole thing some of it's quite cool they talk about some of the stuff that's coming in uh, the Taken King which Bungie haven't officially announced yet uh, Gamescom's coming up this week so we'll find out whether or not any of this is true because I'm sure they'll be releasing a load of new information um, so stay tuned for that I'll definitely have some more content coming up on my channel about any new thing that gets announced so yeah Thank you very much for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. See ya!